Well, good morning, and welcome to yet another Lenten devotional. I hope uh, you are doing well. You know, before I begin this uh, devotional reading, which will be from the uh, Psalm 121, I have to make a, I got to give you a little bit of confession. As we move through this time of Lent and preparation for Easter, I'm beginning to think a little bit about vacations. I don't know about you, maybe it's the weather change uh, or the time change or uh, maybe I'm just tired, <laughs> tired. But but I'm thinking about vacation, and when I when I think about uh, where I want to go for vacations, I always I always my brain always uh, drifts to the mountains. Uh, the only thing that ever gets in the way is like, man, I got to drive to get to the to the mountains. But the mountains for me uh, are certainly a place of of restoration. They're they're a place of deep uh, renewal. Um, and honestly, you could, might say the mountains are a place where my help comes from. And for others, you know, it's the beach. Uh, you know, the folks who live in the mountains, they come to the beach. Or others who live up north, they come down uh, to Florida uh, for those kind of things. And so I, I'm just inviting you to think for just a moment, you know, where, <coughs> excuse me, where, where do you go uh, for restoration? Uh, where do you, uh, when, when, you, when you want to take a break or take some time off, uh, where is it that you go that you uh, look for help in some ways uh, for restoration? And I invite you to think about that uh, as I share with you uh, this psalm, Psalm 121. It says, I lift up my eyes to the hills. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot slip. Uh, he who watches over you will not slumber. Indeed, he who watches over Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun will not harm you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all harm but will, and will watch over all your life. The Lord will watch over your coming and going both now and forevermore. Again, that was Psalm 121, and I pray that that, uh, that psalm is a, is a blessing to you today. You know, when we look at uh, the words of that psalmist, you know, we oftentimes have that picture in our mind that, that uh, a lot of times we'll look at the snow-capped mountains or we'll look at the, uh, the, 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 um, the horizon of the mountains and, and just kind of perplex in our minds, what where, where does my help come from? But there's another way for us to possibly look at that, that psalm. Uh, Jerusalem is surrounded by all these hills, hills. And imagine that the psalmist, when they're looking up, uh, they see an enemy encamped all around them. Or you might even put it in a, a, a context of today. The Ukrainians, you know, uh, look up into the skies. And as they look up into the skies and they hear the sound of the Russian jets, they may be looking up and wondering, where is my help coming from? Because it doesn't seem to be coming from there. And if that's the case, if the psalmist is looking up at the mountains and, and, and doesn't see that as a, a place of restoration, uh, but instead sees it as a place of help, uh, of danger, uh, then we might even have a deeper understanding of that question. Well, then where does my help come from? If I'm in the midst of this difficult place, where is this help going to come from? And obviously, as we read uh, further into that psalm, we're invited to hear the answer. My, my help comes from the Lord. It doesn't come from the armies. It doesn't come from the, the, the military might in the sky, but it, it comes uh, from the Lord. And as you reflect on this psalm today, as you go through it, I invite you to, to think about these questions. Where, where do you tend to look for help? You know? Is it on a vacation? Is it a retreat spot? Or uh, is it a daily uh, turning to, to God and understanding that my help comes from the Lord? And today what I'd invite you to do is you reflect uh, on this psalm. I want you to consider looking at the hill upon which Jesus was crucified. You know, in this case, the psalmist looks at the hill and asks the question, where does my help come from? And if we look at the hill and and we see that it's on the hill that the cross uh, will be put into the ground. And it's there that we discover that, that the Lord uh, will fulfill the verses where it says that I'll keep you from evil and, 
and know that I neither slumber or sleep, that even in those three days in which Jesus was in the tomb, uh, we're reminded that the, the Lord wasn't on, on a break. The Lord was in the business of, of showing victory over death. And so I invite you to reflect on that question, from where does my help come from? And as you look on the hill, uh, I pray that you'll see uh, the cross as you continue your journey towards the cross. Will we pray together? Father, I thank you for this day. And I pray, Lord, that as we do look to the hill, uh, that when, when we look there, we see the cross that represents your greatest love. Uh, and it represents uh, the full depth of your promise to be with us. And may that encourage us. May it strengthen us for all that lies ahead. My friends, I, I want you to have a great day. I want you to experience God's blessing. And I invite you to look to the hill and see that your help truly does come from the Lord. Take care and I'll see you tomorrow. Be blessed.